So we know that the derivative of the natural log function is 1 over x. And we've used the log laws to simplify our composite functions in order to use our sum and difference rules for differentiating. But sometimes we can't do that. So we can use the chain rule if f of x is any differentiable function and it's positive. Because remember that in order to work out the derivative of the natural log of x, x has to be greater than zero because of our curve of ln x never going um, to zero or negative. So the way we're going to write this is that the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of any positive function, f of x, is going to be 1 over that inner function multiplied by the derivative of that inner function. And we can simplify that by writing the derivative of the inner function divided by the inner function itself. So we're going to differentiate y equals the natural log of 5x plus 1. So we know that y prime is going to equal the derivative of the inner function divided by the inner function itself. And in this example, that inner function is 5x plus 1. So the derivative of 5x plus 1 is going to give us 5. So y prime is going to give us 5 over 5x plus 1. Now we could use the chain rule the long way round. And if we get another colour, I can demonstrate that for you. If we let u equal that inner function 5x plus 1 and y equal the natural log of u, the derivative of u with respect to x is going to be 5. The derivative of y with respect to u is going to be 1 over u. Our chain rule says that the derivative of y with respect to x equals the derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. We're going to substitute in our values. So we've got 1 over u multiplied by 5. And then we're going to put it in terms of x. So the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be 5 over 5x plus 1. So you can see we get exactly the same thing. We just have a few more steps. Now in the next example, we want to find f dash x for the function f of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So I want to use my log laws to simplify this first before I apply my chain rule. So f of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x. This is a quotient. So I'm going to rewrite this as the function of x equals the natural log of 1 plus x take away the natural log of 1 minus x. Now, using that relationship that our function differentiated is going to be the inner function differentiated over that inner function itself, The first function is going to be 1 plus x differentiated goes to 1. And that's going to be divided by the inner function itself. And I'm going to take away, now I'm going to make sure I put brackets around this because the derivative of 1 minus x is negative 1 and that's going to be differentiated by 1 minus x. And then when I simplify this, I'm going to have 1 over 1 plus x, and it's going to be added on to 1 over 1 minus x. Now I can leave it like that. If I wanted to, I could um, add them together, getting my common denominator, and so I can simplify um, the numerator. The final example is using our product rule. We want to find the derivative of e to the power of 2x multiplied by the natural log of x. So we need to work out what our functions are. So we're going to let f 
be our e to the power of 2x and g is going to be our natural log of x to be x and g prime is going to be 1 over x. So y prime equals f prime g plus g prime f. And we're going to substitute in our values. So f prime is 2e to the power of 2x. And g is the natural log of x. And we're going to add on g prime, which is 1 over x. And we're going to multiply that by e to the power of 2x. And now we're going to factorise it because you can see we've got a common e to the power of 2x. So we've got e to the power of 2x and that's multiplied by 2 ln x plus 1 over x. And so that is the derivative of my function. So if I rewrite it, therefore, the derivative with respect to x of e to the 2x multiplied by the natural log of x equals e to the power of 2x multiplied by 2 times the natural log of x plus 1 over x.